All right, folks, what you're going to do is click that link in that first comment. It's going to import all of these templates, all of these that you see here. It's going to import them into a software called System.io. System.io is completely free for you to use. You just have to sign up for that free account. And once you do, these landing page templates will be imported into your account for free. So use that link in that first comment to import those into your account. It's going to look exactly like this. It's going to be under your funnels tab. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different squeeze pages or landing pages, opt in pages, whatever you want to call it. And then there's one thank you page. So just find the one that resonates with you best and go ahead and edit the page, change up the headline, make it specific to you and what you're trying to do. Make it your, your branding, your logo, your color scheme, your wallpaper, whatever it is you like, you can edit this however you want pretty easily. Now to simplify the rest of this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and delete all of these squeeze pages except for one that I'm going to use and then I'll show you the complete process of setting it up. So now we have a simple two-step landing page, right? We have the squeeze page, but we'll send them to collect that email address. And then we have a thank you page or a download page where you can deliver whatever free resources, ebook, course, whatever you're trying to give them in exchange for that email address, you can deliver right here on this thank you page. But if you don't want to use the thank you page, you don't have to. You can actually just refer them over to whatever offer you're trying to promote. So as soon as they enter their email address in here, once they click the button, they'll get forwarded over to that affiliate offer. So here's how to set that up so that it goes where you want it to go. On this page, we have a button that opens a pop-up. So we're gonna have to edit that pop-up. So we'll click on pop-ups and click on the eyeball to show that pop-up. This button right here actually submits the form. So after the form gets submitted, what do we want to happen? So just click on that. And right up here, action when button clicked, send form. Then after that, if we want to send them to the next page, instead of sending to a custom URL, we'll send to the next step. And the next step of this funnel is that thank you page. Now, if you don't want to send them to that next step or that thank you page, you want to send them to an affiliate offer. Instead of going with the next step, go with custom URL, go and copy your affiliate link and then paste that right in here. Now, when they submit the form, after they hit that button, they'll get sent over to your affiliate offer. So we know where we want them to go after they give us their email, but what's going to happen with their email once they give it to us for that? We need to create an email campaign. So under your emails tab, go to campaigns, hit this little tab right here that says create so that you can create a brand new campaign. I'm going to call this test YouTube. And then you would put the description of your email list right in there hit save and it'll create that campaign for you click on the name of it and here's where you can start to build out your email campaign so we'll go up here and hit create and this is going to be the first email of our campaign so we'll go what first and the classic editor is what i use and then i'll hit save and it's going to open up that email editor so we'll put in our information here and this is going to be sent to them as soon as they subscribe once you have your email written out go up here and hit save and publish and here is the one that we want to focus on the delay before sending an email now i want this to send out five minutes after someone subscribes so once they go to this page and put in their information five minutes later they're going to get sent this first email so i'll just hit activate so here's our first email on that five minute delay let's add another one we're going to hit create and this one i'll call it second you're going to put your subject line right up there hit save the email editor will open edit your email Put the information you want and then hit save and publish again now this time we're going to use both of these options so this email will be sent after this is the second email so i want it sent after that first so i click on first and then delay before sending email i'm going to put one day so that this gets sent one day after they initially subscribe once that's all good i'm going to hit activate and that one's going to be ready to go as well. And you can see it orders it for us. So the first email is here sent after five minutes. The second email goes after one single day. And we can add just one more just to show you the process again. So you'll write your email and then hit save and publish. And this is the third email. So we'll send it after the second one. 
And then we'll also do one day delay. So basically I'm setting this up so that I'm going to email them every single day. Make sure you hit activate and then we'll go and check again. We got the first, the second and the third and you'll continue to create these as long as you can. I mean, you can really build out 14 day, 30 day, 365 day email sequences if you have the time. Now there's just one last step to put everything together so that it works on autopilot for you. We need to go back to that funnel. Here it is with the squeeze page and the thank you page. And under the squeeze page, we're going to look at this section right here, automation rules. We want to create an automation rule so that when someone goes to the squeeze page, puts in their email address, they automatically get put onto that email campaign and start to receive our emails. So under automation rules, we'll add a new rule here and we want to use the trigger the funnel step form subscribe trigger. So the first option right here is what we're going to use to tell it what we want it to do when that person gives us their email address. We're going to highlight these three dots and click on edit automation rule. And then we're going to add a new action. That action is going to be subscribe to campaign. We're going to look for that campaign that I just created right here. Test YouTube. When they subscribe, they're automatically going to get put onto that campaign that we just created. We can also add another action, which is a tag. So you know where this person came from, right? So maybe it's for a, a consulting business that you do or an ebook that you're getting now. You can put a tag, anything in here that you want. So for this option, I'm going to put an opt-in. And then when you're done, you can just going to hit save rule. That rule is now added to this page. So anytime someone goes to this page, submits their email address, they're going to get put automatically onto that campaign and they're going to get tagged. Setting up these automation rules is one of the most important steps for creating your landing page because you want to make sure everything's going to work well and happen on autopilot. Now, once you've done that, your landing page is all ready to go. It's all automated. Person's going to come here. They're going to want what you got. They're going to enter the email address. They're going to hit get the free trading or whatever you're trying to give away. Then they're going to automatically get put on that email campaign and start receiving your emails every single day. Now, before you go, here's a little bonus tip. You can actually create full courses inside system.io for free. So if you wanted to give them access to a course, you could do that here in the automation role as well. We'll hit add action, scroll down here to enroll in course. We'll pick the course that we created, give them full access, and then hit save rule. With this one automation rule, when they subscribe, they're going to get tagged with our tag. They're going to get put on that email campaign recreated, and they're going to get access to a free training that we're going to give them all built right here in system.io for free. All right, folks, that's everything you need to do to get your landing page set up in five minutes. Don't forget to click the link in that first comment to get access to seven different landing page templates that you can edit and make your own. Go through these steps, set up your landing page today and get ready to collect those leads. My name is Josh. EverydayFBA.com is the website and I'll catch you on that next one. Peace.